Hi guys, it's Iceman here, and today I'm just basically I'm going to show you how I prep my bed for 3D printing. So you'll notice here I have a sponge. It's got one of these Brillo sides on it, but I don't think that's really important. The main thing is is that we have access to that good old stuff called tap water. And I've got a sink here. I'm going to spare you that that footage. So basically, what I do is I just I wet my sponge until it's damp, not dripping dripping wet, but I just want it good and damp. And what I print with on here is I use a glass sheet. Oh, it's not the prettiest right now. But I use a glass sheet with blue Elmer's glue stick on top. Or, you know, some good glue stick glue. I've used a couple different brands. I don't think it's brand dependent. I like disappearing purple. But okay, this is a little dry. Now my bed is at room temperature right now. And I'm just adding a little bit of water to it. You guys can see here basically what I'm doing though, I'm just I'm soaking the bed. And of course I don't need to give you guys safety tips. I mean you know that electricity and water do not mix. Well okay, that's a little better. kind of hard to shoot. So basically I'm just I'm wanting this all to dissolve and go into a liquid suspension. It's almost there. Boy, the parts that I kept applying it to, it's definitely a little bit thicker at. But I've been doing this oh, probably six, seven months and I, I like this technique. I'm going to try to turn a few more lights on here and see if we can get get a little bit better. Damage. Well, actually my bet is it's a little warm. It's at 37 degrees Celsius right now. Okay, but this is the most important part. I do not want to take all this this old glue stick off of here. I just I want all the chunks to break up and dissolve. And I've tried this with a lot more water and a little less water. Main thing is you just want it wet enough where it all dissolves. Then you just try to make this as even as you can possibly get it. I used to take it and I, I would put so much water on that it would actually kind of float it across and level itself out. I don't think that's really necessary. Okay, and that's that's my bed prep, guys. I'll just rinse my sponge out a little bit. Actually, I think it's better if you don't rinse it out, but I like to leave mine sitting around. Probably need a 3D printed container for it. That's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I want to make a lot more 3D printing videos. If you guys will leave comments on what you'd like to see, I'd, I'd love to build them. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.